in the enchanting village of Joeyville, nestled amidst rolling hills and blooming meadows, lived a young weaver named Elio. Elio was known far and wide for his extraordinary skill in creating the most exquisite fabrics and textiles. His work was not just admired for its beauty, but also for the happiness it brought to the hearts of those who were his creations. Elio had a unique gift. He believed that happiness was not merely a result of external circumstances, but a conscious choice that one could make every single day. He was convinced that his woven fabrics held a kind of magic that could brighten even the gloomiest of souls. One day, news of Elio's talents reached the ears of the royal court, and he received an invitation from the king himself to craft a garment for the grand upcoming festival. Elio was both honored and excited, for this was an opportunity to spread his philosophy of happiness to an even wider audience. For weeks, Elio toiled tirelessly on his loom, weaving in threads of joy, compassion, and kindness into the fabric. He poured his heart and soul into every stitch, infusing his creation with the essence of his beliefs. When the garment was finally complete, it shimmered with an ethereal glow, as if it held a piece of the sun's radiance within its threads. As the festival approached, Elio's anticipation grew. He couldn't wait to witness the impact of his creation on the people of the kingdom. Finally, the day of the festival arrived, and Elio presented the garment to the king. The king, taken aback by its beauty, immediately adorned himself with the woven masterpiece. However, as the king walked through the festival grounds, something peculiar began to happen. People who passed him by did not seem any happier than they usually were. Elio, observing from a distance, felt his heart sink. He had expected his creation to bring about immediate and visible happiness. But it seemed that something was amiss. Elio approached the king and hesitantly spoke. Your Majesty, I humbly ask for a moment to understand why my creation might not be working as I intended. The king, intrigued by Elio's words, agreed. Elio retreated to a quiet corner and pondered deeply. He realized that while he had woven happiness into the fabric, he had forgotten an important aspect. The wearer must choose to embrace that happiness. It wasn't enough for the garment to exude positivity. The individuals themselves had to make the conscious decision to be happy. With newfound insight, Elio returned to the king and explained his realization. The king, impressed by Elio's wisdom, removed the garment and handed it back to him. Elio took the fabric and meticulously unpicked every stitch. This time, he wove in threads of inspiration, hope, and resilience, while leaving a blank space for the wearer's own choice of happiness. When the garment was ready, Elio presented it to the king once more. As the king donned the attire, he felt a subtle warmth enveloping him, and a serene smile graced his lips. This time, as he walked through the festival, People couldn't help but notice the change in his demeanor. His presence seemed to ignite a spark of positivity in those around him. Word spread rapidly about the king's transformation. And soon, people from all corners of the kingdom flocked to Elio's workshop, requesting garments that were woven with both the weaver's magic and their own chosen happiness. The village of Joeyville became a beacon of joy. Not just because of Elio's creations, but because people realized that happiness was indeed a choice that they could make, regardless of their circumstances. And so, the legend of the Weaver of Smiles spread far and wide, inspiring generations to embrace the idea that happiness is not merely a result of the external world, but a conscious decision that can be made in every moment of life. Elio's legacy lived on, reminding everyone that the threads of happiness were woven not only into fabrics but into their hearts and minds.
waiting to be chosen and cherished.